The Steam Deck just got ray tracing. No, seriously, it has got ray tracing. Well, only in Doom Eternal right now, and one of these has it turned on. Hint, look at the frames per second and see if you can tell the difference between the two. Okay, this is only on Steam Deck OS 3.46 at the moment, which is in the beta and preview channel, which got updated today and does now enable you to turn on ray tracing in Doom Eternal. So first of all, we're gonna have a look at default high settings with everything at the default with motion blur off, render scale at 100%, just to give us a bit of a benchmark here. And you can see that we are getting a fairly solid 60 frames per second. For the most part, it does hold 60, but when things get really hairy, it does seem to dip down into the mid 40s and 50s. So it is still tanking a little bit, but high settings is definitely playable for the most part. However, if we turn ray tracing on and do the same section, before we even get into any battle, we're already into the 30 to 40 frames per second mark. And when things really start getting heated, we're already down into the low 30s. And when things get really hectic, we're down into the 15 to 20 mark, which is not really playable on the Steam Deck. Although it does look absolutely fantastic, it's not going to be a good way to play. We bring this down to medium though, with ray tracing on, even in those battle sequences, we are holding actually above 30 frames per second and we are getting that much better graphics. Even though our wattage is still up in the mid 20s. This definitely is a good way to play and if you wanted to cap this at 30 frames per second with medium and ray tracing then this is going to be a phenomenal experience. But if we put it side by side with high settings we can really see those differences with the ray tracing effect and just the overall effect of ray tracing has on the game. The contrast of the lights and darks, as well as the actual reflections themselves, is just so much more prominent on the ray tracing side. However, that frame drop is going to be a bit too much for most. You may be able to eke a little bit more out with low settings, but then that's going to kind of defeat the object of having ray tracing on in my book as you're not going to gain a huge amount of benefit without the higher graphics presets. So is ray tracing worth it? Is the Steam Deck powerful enough for ray tracing moving forwards? Time will tell. But with Doom Eternal taking a hit at half the frames per second may be okay for some. But I think for now, I would rather have the frames. Let us know in the comments below if you want the frames per second or you want the gorgeous graphics with ray tracing. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.